Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is the quick look and review of the latest build of Windows 10. Build 15046 was released yesterday evening Eastern Time, right smack about 10 minutes into my Windows Insider show that I was doing live. So uh, kind of interesting. So we extended the show a little bit, started to download and install. That was kind of cool and we talked about the Insider build of course. So what is new in here and what's happening? First of all, install went well on both of my computers. No issues, no glitches. Downloaded and installed flawlessly. And uh, funny thing, if you've seen my previous video uh, that I posted uh, on the other channel, uh, the Windows Insider channel, I had my uh, welcome screen again for welcome to creators update and Edge opened up automatically when I actually got into this uh, build which uh, is funny because it seems like nobody's getting that. Um, okay so install went well and I've been using it uh, pretty much intensively for uh, what the rest of the evening yesterday about 9 starting at 9 p.m. yesterday until I uh, got to bed around 1 a.m. I uh, used it for about four hours and uh, looked at videos did a lot of stuff. I also um, used it all morning today as my pretty much my main computer and uh, so I've got kind of a nice little outlook now of you know what uh, it looks like. It's very stable once again. Another very stable build coming out of uh, uh, of Microsoft with this build. Uh, one of the interesting things uh, first is if you are on an older build and you could not upgrade, uh, 15.04.2, which was released last Friday, is officially available. Uh, for download now. So if you go to the Windows Insider page, you will see 15042 image is there. You can download it, put it on the USB thumb drive or a um, any uh, or DVD and uh, install it for um, you know upgrading. And of course, you can go then to the fast ring if you want to have this one. And um, after a day or two, you'll have 15046, which is this one. Okay, uh, what's new in here? Not a lot of stuff. First of all, look at the bottom left. Cortana bar, they uh, changed the color back to gray. You know, it was like light gray, now it's dark gray again. Uh, that's the color that was originally there. It seems that uh, most people said, nah, I don't want to have it light colored. I actually like it light colored, but you know, um, light or dark gray, I don't really care, I would say. It's quite all right, and uh, you know, if you're about to change that, why not just you know give everybody the little switch that you know put the color you want. It's even better than instead of you know having all these people whining about you know I don't like it like that. So uh, that's pretty much a uh, very little thing. Windows Defender has an interesting improvement. Uh, when you have Windows Defender installed, of course it is by default on Windows 10. Look at this. There's a little green check mark that says, oh, everything is all right. And uh, go to my insider channel. I got a rant about that. Uh, and and it's, uh, it's a good rant also. When you click on it, now it opens the Windows Security Center. So, uh, you know, all of that has been kind of uh, uniformed now. Everything is all right. Um, and um, I got a glitch on the other PC with device and performance. And um, so go to my insider channel if you want to have my rant on this. That's a very interesting rant, by the way. Um, and it was one of the things that I thought was to, to check for uh, on my other machine. It actually, this device performance is yellow and tells me, oh, um, well, you know, your performance is no good. And of course, it puts a yellow check mark here or a yellow little thing here. And now everybody will think, oh, my PC's at risk or there's something. And I don't seem to be able to turn it off. Anyways, look at my insider video and you're going to really find it uh, kind of interesting. So, um, of course, that's good to have, you know, a little check mark, a little green thing saying, hey, everything's all right. The visual of an antivirus, I always thought, you know, it's kind of. Uh, nice to have that and uh, it's nice that it launches now the uh, Windows Defender Security Center uh, when you are asking for it. Pick up where you left off is a little bit more um, interesting. It, they're, they're tweaking actually a lot of people you know 
add comments on that, uh, pick up where you left off means that when you use two PCs that are on Windows 10, so in this case two PCs with the Insider Preview because that's the new feature, uh, on the other PC you'll have, oh you want to continue where you were and uh, there were of course notifications in the Action Center to say, oh you were on YouTube doing this or you were on uh, you know, Firefox doing this or you were using Microsoft Word, you want to continue off where you were. Kind of cool because you know it kind of reminds you that of all the things that you were doing and how you can actually go back. Now um, they fiddled with that a little bit, trying to to find a way to improve this uh, if possible. Also, uh, translations for the different parts of Windows, including the out of box experience. Out of box experience is that install sequence of Windows that um, is uh, different. Um, there were, were a lot of um, problems, especially in different, you know, like in French, I did see a few weird things happen and um, they're trying to tweak that and make it better. Also, the French uh, version of the out-of-box experience is kind of very robotic. Uh, you know, Cortana in English sounds like somebody's talking to you. Um, Cortana in French sounds like a robot is talking to you, so they're tweaking that, basically. Uh, updated gaming settings icons, so um, they've uh, apparently um, played a lot to uh, try to make things a little better. So in the settings, the gaming icons is uh, updated. You see here it's been kind of revamped a little more. It still has that Xbox, but it is a little better. Uh, some people were uh, uh, saying, well, it doesn't feel like you know the icons and the other uh, icons on that settings panel. And, uh, well, now they're talking about it, but it was available already. Uh, application installation control, so when you install apps, of course, uh, now they are talking about it, but it was already available, was the, uh, you know, possibility to get apps from the store only and so on. Okay, that's pretty much what I have to say in the new stuff. Uh, one thing for what's okay there's tons of fixes here that I won't talk about because it's just like there's so many fixes it's just incredible uh, incredible lots and lots of fixes and you know this is really really um, showing that they're in bug fix mode right now one thing that's broken uh, is if you are upgrading and you s you're stuck at 71% and it doesn't seem to do anything and then it rolls back to the previous build uh, search well check it out there's a forum post that is talking about that and how to maybe try to find ways to fix it um, and of course if all fails you can always you know just reinstall from scratch with the build 15042 and the upgrade from there should actually be okay so uh, that's okay uh, there's some gaming issues for uh, certain configurations of hardware so uh, there might be a little few things there's still some of the uh, uh, you know, errors like uh, F12 uh, dev mode will give you, uh, or dev tools will give you uh, maybe a, a crashing Microsoft Edge, um, stuff like that. Universal Windows platform apps may unexpectedly appear with their app package in the title bar instead of the app name. Uh, these are errors that they already know about. But apart from that, pretty good build. Still, no watermark, the bottom, r bottom right. Now, I was wondering, okay, we got a new build. Does this change anything? Well, it seems that we're going to have a new build because if we look at this here, Windows 10 says that it's still on version 16.07 when you look at the Windows version. So basically, um, nothing new for now. We're still not officially at the Creators Update. There's still quite a few bugs to fix, uh, but there's a lot of bug fixes already. Very stable build. Uh, not much I have to talk about. If you want to have more inside stuff for the insider previews, of course, go to my insider channel. I will post, once again, the link to my insider channel in the description below this video so that you can go there and uh, subscribe if you want and learn more about the insider previews and the new stuff coming to the Creators Update. On this channel, I will have a video today also about um, the Creators Update itself, how it will be rolling in to everybody and uh, basically um, I think it's going to be uh, useful information for anybody that wonders how it's going to uh, happen for everyone. 
So, uh, a new build, a new stable build, and uh, very, very fast. It was amazing to see that only uh, four days after the Friday release, we already had a new build, which uh, surprised me a lot. I, I was not at all expecting that. And I was actually not really expecting to have a build today, uh, honestly. So, uh, it is quite surprising that uh, it was uh, released so fast. But it was also kind of cool to have it released while I was doing my Windows Insider Hours show live. So uh, we've got a, done a little extended uh, a li little extended thing here to uh, check it out. So uh, pretty cool. And uh, basically another last little thing, no builds today, looking at the data and the feedback. So of course, uh, Donna Sarkar did say no builds today, don't expect one. And uh, don't forget, if you have any glitches or things that uh, you want to talk about or things that you want to share. Feedback Hub is there to have you voice your frustrations or voice your uh, comments on the build. And uh, of course, we have the Windows Insider Show every Tuesdays where we talk about it and we have the Windows Insider channel for lots and lots more information. Hope you enjoy. If you have installed this build, what do you think? Is it working well? Are you okay? Is everything all right? Uh, by the way, one little thing I did see this morning when you use the snipping tool, I've noticed that the snipping tool, you had a little arrow in the new here, and that's where you choose what you want to snip on the screen. I noticed that there's it's in mode now. Here is where you go and you see you choose oh full screen snip for example. So kind of funny, a uh, little change in the snipping tool that I see here. And for more details and more uh, videos on anniversary versus this build or creators update, uh, of course, the Insider channel for Insider stuff in this channel, main channel for all sorts of other things that are mostly for regular users. So uh, two different vocations. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this quick review. And uh, hey, why not uh, leave your feedback of what you think of this build?